Fair warning, this is a rant video, and if you don't want to hear me yelling and screaming for the next few minutes, click off now. Every time I do a project which uses somebody else's object or artwork, I always get, <laughs> this is a chorus, hey man, you're gonna get sued, you're gonna get, you're, you're stealing, you're violating copyright, you're gonna get your video taken down, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to pay them money, this is against the law, you can't do this. Well, I can tell you I've never been contacted by a copyright holder. I've never been asked to take a video down. I've never been threatened with any kind of action by Google, YouTube, or anybody else. And I think there are four reasons for that. Number one is attribution. I always give credit to the artist. I always give credit to the company or the maker. It's very important to identify the owner of the work, the artist who did the work, and I'm always careful to do that. Number two, fair use. My channel is an educational channel, and I use people's artwork or objects to teach methods of casting and mold making. The test of whether or not you're violating someone's trademark or copyright is harm. Am I harming this person in some way? And I don't believe that my videos have ever harmed anybody. If anything, they serve as free advertising for that person, more publicity for that product or that artist. Number three is stealing. If I made a video that said, hey kids, I can show you how to cast 100,000 Lego pieces a day in your garage and sell them for big profit. Come on, let's go. Yeah, if I did that, uh, I might get the attention of some Lego lawyers. I'm not advocating that you steal somebody's product and make a bunch of money doing it. That's not what this channel is about and it's not what I advocate for. Artists have been trained by copying the masters forever. It's one of the most time-honored ways of training new artists. For instance, this is the Horse of Selene, a fragment of the Parthenon, which is now in the British Museum. And here's a drawing of it made in 1809 by Benjamin Robert Hayden. And here's my drawing of Mr. Hayden's drawing that I made when I was an art student. Likewise, here's the Libyan Sybil by Michelangelo and here's his drawing for it. That drawing's in the Metropolitan Museum in New York, and here's my copy of it I made when I was a first-year art student. So copying is a time-honored way of teaching artists, and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. If you make movies or video games or toys, what's the most important thing to you? It's your fans. It's people who are devoted and enthusiastic and in love with your characters and, and stories. And who's more devoted, <laughs> who's more involved than makers? People that make fan art are, are the most devoted fans, and the fan art phenomenon has grown huge in recent years, and it's fully supported by the smart studios and, and property owners who understand that when someone is so involved in their work that they want to make character, they want to make their own artwork about it, that's a super fan, and that's someone you want to encourage. You don't want to go around threatening people with copyright violation. I see my channel as promoting people's work, not stealing it. So I made this video so the next time someone goes, you're stealing, you're going to get, you're going to get sued, you're going to get... <laughs> this is my answer. Watch this video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, watch this video next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.